There are even experts in the International Monetary Fund now and the OECD admit one basic fact. I'll give you a quote. This comes from pretty right-wing groups. They said this, the single best public policy mechanism to narrow that income gap is broad-based collective bargaining. I couldn't agree more. I grew up in a town, a union town, much like Windsor and Sudbury and other places, that when we got a wage increase in our plant, everybody in the whole town got a wage increase. Everybody's wages lifted, and they did better. Heck, I grew up, I want to date myself, but you could earn a living supporting a family working at a grocery store. My best friend, six kids in his family, mom stayed home, dad worked in a grocery store, supported the whole family. Retired in dignity with a great pension negotiated by the USCW. What's happened to our society? It's just as rich as it was then. But now people can't earn a living with two jobs. You have to get four jobs. It's an amazing change that's taken place and these rich people are getting richer. It's astonishing to see this happen. But belonging to a union hasn't changed. Lucky enough to belong to a union it means you earn a decent wage so you can buy a home and pay off that mortgage before you retire. Buy a car, raise a family, take a vacation once in a while, put your kids through college or university, and after a lifetime of hard work, retire in dignity. That's a value I think is not unrealistic to expect in Canada, is it?